Jonah Lomu was rugby union's first global megastar, emerging as the sport turned professional in the mid-1990s. He scored 37 tries in 63 matches for New Zealand's famous All Blacks, but played only eight years at the highest level before a kidney problem forced him to retire. It was long enough, though, to establish him as a legend of the game. I guess the legacy I want to leave with rugby is that, um, that it's in good stead, that it's still growing and that uh, people enjoy it. You know, it. It's a sport that people should just enjoy. Although he never won a Rugby World Cup, Lomu was a star of both the 1995 and 1999 tournaments, scoring 15 tries, a record that was only recently equaled at the World Cup in England. He stood out for his speed and size, standing around six foot four inches tall, or 196 centimetres, and weighing 120 kilograms, almost 19 stone. After almost single-handedly demolishing England one time, opposing captain Will Carling dubbed Lomu a freak. It was a gentle jibe, born out of the frustration many felt at not being able to stop the fearsome winger. His skills even inviting an offer from NFL team, the Dallas Cowboys. He could run around, he could run over the top of you, but off, off the field, as soon as that final whistle sort of blew, the softest handshake, big smile on his face. Come on, boys! Lomu's international career started in rugby sevens, and he played a key lobbying role as the shorter, snappier form of the game was voted back into the Olympics for Rio 2016. Now he will never see its return. A kidney condition forced Lomu to have a transplant in 2004, yet remarkably he came back to play for top Welsh club Cardiff Blues. However, the organ failed in 2011, leaving Lomu to return to dialysis and await another transplant, ending his career for good. While many wondered what else a healthy Jonah Lomu might have achieved, it's a measure of the man that he never gave the impression of being bitter about what he was denied, rather he was humble and thankful for what he had.